I heard you good with them soft lips Yeah, you know word of mouth The square root of 69 is a sum, right? Cause I been trying to work it out oh, Good weed, white wine, uh I come alive in the nighttime, yeah Okay, away we go Only thing we have on is the radio oh, Let it play Say you gotta leave, but I know you wanna stay Hey YouTube, Iron Ninja 101 here. I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite Cydia apps and tweaks. So my first one is Infinidoc. Infinidoc is very useful and I think it's really cool. What it does is let you scroll up and down on Springboard. So it's a paid app, but if you add a source called XLEs, then you can get it for free. So I like that. Next is called Infinidoc made by the same person and what it allows you to do is put as many icons as you want on the dock and scroll to the left and right. I find it very cool. My next tweak is called Backgrounder. Backgrounder will allow you to multitask instead of using the Apple version which is not available for some devices running 4.1 firmware. So just download this and all you have to do is go on to any app that you want to enable multitasking and hold down the home button. When it says background enabled, you know it's working. Go back onto it and then hold it down again and it disables it. This is great for apps like Skype. Next is called Make It Mine. Make It Mine will allow you to change your carrier and banner on the top of your iPod. All you need to do is click the app and type in whatever you want and then click carrier or banner and it'll change it to it. If you're going to restore your iPod, make sure that you change it back to normal before you restore it because it'll stay this way. So just make sure that you do that. Next is called Multi-Icon Mover. Multi-Icon Mover will allow you to move multiple icons instead of moving one at a time. So all you have to do is hold down an icon like normal until it starts shaking and then tap the icons that you want to move and it should have a check mark on the bottom right hand then click the home button on the page that you want to paste it and they're there. Next is called side delete. Side delete will allow you to delete your Cydia apps right from your springboard instead of going on to Cydia and removing them. This is very helpful. All you have to do is click it like you do a normal app and click delete and it should delete it right away. Next is called No Bookmarks. It will not show the bookmarks page when you open up Safari. I find it very helpful because when if I open up Safari, this little bookmark thing comes up and it's really annoying. So that's nice. One of my favorites is called SB Settings. SB Settings will allow you to toggle pretty much anything in your settings like Wi-Fi, VNC, or brightness, Bluetooth. All you have to do is swipe the top of the screen and the thing will come up. You can turn, you can respring, you can turn it off, you can lock it. And I find it very helpful. Next is called Winterboard. This is very commonly used. All it allows you to do is basically customize your springboard. You can download different themes from Cydia and there are thousands of themes that you can download. So here's one called Windows OS X 1.4 so you just click that and click for spring and it takes a couple seconds when you open it up it might have a custom slider and your icons could be customized it pretty much does anything for your springboard last is called covert I don't really like this but I had to figure out a tenth tweak. It, all it allows you to do is have private browsing on Safari. So all you have to do is click private and then exit private. So that's covert. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe, ask me any questions and I'll try and help you and message you back. Thanks.